brought you back with another tutorial. Today I'll show you quickly how to create this kind of sine and cos graph. Pretty sure you must be knowing the sine and cos function. If not, you need to go back to school. Alright, so this is pretty straightforward. So I'll work it out on a new JS fiddle for you. As usual, go to download and copy the link, paste it over here and create a division element give it an id whatever name you want let us give it a sign cos okay so to do this you need to make sure that you have seen the previous video where we have used the native array format to create these equations to plot these equations the functions we need the native array format all right so starting off i would create a an empty array holder after that let us go for a for loop so the way I would like to work with the for loop is that for variable i i less than 100 oops one second semicolon i less than 100 i plus plus and open the brackets so since we are working with an array, we will use the function push frequently. So what I would like to push in the start would be an array. We push an array inside an array because the native array format works that way. So the first array that I will be pushing would have two coordinates. One is i itself and the other one is math.sign i. Alright, so after this. Let us create our dy graph, call it g, new dy graph dot get lem element by id, the name of which would be sine cos and then holder, our data will be holder. Oops, 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 instead of typing where i equal to 0, I type where equal to i. Do not make the mistake. These silly mistakes are what kill me all the time. Alright, alright. So you have to type holder dot push. Since we are pushing it inside holder, I made this mistake. Do not make the mistake, please. So when you run it, you can see a graph which definitely does not look like a sine curve. Alright, the way you need to make it, you smoothen it out is by giving more x coordinates as well as y coordinates. So how, how do you do it? Let us check it out by dividing our i with 10. Alright. Here, here we go. So as you can see, we have a nice smooth sine curve. So this is a sine curve that is built with the simple equation that we have given we have uh, we have an inbuilt sine equation from javascript library so as you can see this is perfectly simple now if you want a cost plot as well directly go give another cost i by 10 there you go so you can see that we have beautiful Two curves, one is sine and another one is cos. The blue one has to be cos because it's starting from zero. Yeah, and the red one is zero, the red one is sine curve, it starts from zero. Okay, so as you can see, this is one simple way of creating sine and cos curve. In the next video, I'll quickly talk about how you can create an exponential function and some other function that I'll pick by the time you get to the next video all right guys thanks a lot for watching keep watching these videos subscribe like share show it to your friends and learn uh, dy graphs better and better all right thanks a lot for watching bye bye